And now, from the Daily Sun Newsroom, here's your village's lifestyle news update on VNN. We'll tell you about the 20th year of the Village's Philharmonic Orchestra. Plus, Hobby Lobby is now open in the Villages. Welcome to your Lifestyle News Show. I'm Steve Rosen. The Village's Philharmonic Orchestra is celebrating its 20th year this season. Director Pasquale Valerio and Oscar Falou started rolling the wheels of the orchestra around 1999, but it wasn't until 2003 that the group gave its first concert a Christmas performance. Over the next five years, the orchestra put on three to four concerts per year. This year's season features nine concerts. Director Pasquale Valerio says music is the universal language. Kicking things off is its Labor Day Celebration Pops concert, which features everything from Broadway tunes to country to popular American songs. The performance is at 7 p.m. Sunday, September 3rd at the Sharon L. Morris Performing Arts Center. Tickets start at $35 and are available at any Villages box office or online at villagesentertainment.com. Hobby Lobby's new freestanding store at 3835 Wedgwood Lane in the Buffalo Ridge Plaza welcomed eager shoppers from the Villages and beyond, opening earlier this week. The Villages store is Hobby Lobby's 56th location in the state, and there are more than 900 stores across the country. On Monday, about 100 people waited in line to be one of the first people inside the 55,000 square foot store on opening day. Sarah White of Don Ellen says she's been shopping for home decor items at the Hobby Lobby in Ocala for years, but appreciates that now there is a Hobby Lobby in the Villages area. Diane Cassidy of the Village of Chatham says they have everything there, everything you could want. They've got flowers, all kinds of decor. It's like a one-stop shopping craft store. Hobby Lobby is open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and closed on Sundays. After this short break, there's a new gardening club in the Villages. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. Broadcasting and streaming live from Lake Sumter Landing in a small building with big windows near the water. AM 640, 102.7 and 104.5 FM. Your soundtrack to the villages. WVLG Wildwood. G50, G50. Big 15, bingo, in your face, Earl. She said G50, I got bingo. When you have hearing problems, it's the little details you miss. We can help, take our seven day free trial. In your face, Earl. Elite Hearing Centers of America, from hearing problems to hearing solutions. This is VNN. A new club is planning its roots here in the villages. It will focus on education and its executive board has many plans for the organization. The Landscape Garden Club North will educate members on plants that will help the environment and attract butterflies and bees. The club is being formed not only to educate villagers about gardening, but also to bring another gardening club to the villages. The board for the club hopes to have future collaborations with the other gardening clubs and has many events planned in the future. Connie Sukup of the Village of Charlotte says gardening in Florida is a totally different experience than anywhere else. Lynn Heath of the Village of Woodbury says they really brainstormed to come up with some topics that maybe people hadn't had in the past or that weren't very popular. They're even going to try a field trip and go up to Gainesville to visit the butterfly exhibit at the Florida Museum of Natural History. The Landscape Garden Club North will have its first meeting at 2.30 on September 18th at Laurel Manor Recreation. 
Susan Egloff, president of the Florida Native Plant Society, will speak at the first meeting on how villagers can become good stewards of the community with Florida Native plants. Every month, the club will have a different speaker to talk about different gardening needs. These events will be monthly and open to all villagers. Here's your VNN five day weather. From the WVLG Weather Center, this is Christopher James with your VNN five day forecast. Saturday and Sunday's high gonna be anywhere from 88 to 90 degrees, 30% chance of showers during the day, but then starting Monday, Labor Day through early next week, sunny skies ahead and temperatures in the low 90s. Grandparents Day is nearly here, so be sure to mark your calendar. Designed to honor the special relationships we've built with members of our family and the older generations, the holiday is celebrated on the first Sunday after Labor Day each year. This year, Grandparents Day falls on September 10th. In 1978, President Jimmy Carter signed a proclamation marking the first Sunday after Labor Day as National Grandparents Day. The official proclamation of Grandparents Day states that the holiday is used to honor grandparents, to give grandparents an opportunity to show love for their children's children, and to help children become more aware of the strength, information, and guidance older people can offer. Here in the villages, there are lots of opportunities to make grandparents feel special, including a scenic boat excursion on the waters of Lake Sumter Landing. The Lake Sumter Line offers scenic cruises from four to six for $2 per person. Tickets are available at the dock. Up next, Steve Shell's new car is not your typical Mini Cooper. We'll explain after the break. You're living the dream. Fun times and great tunes. Jack hammering the rock and roll. Delighting up the dance in R&B. It's your village's house party on your village's soundtrack. WVLG. The best mix of music. The songs you love. Your village's soundtrack. WVLG. Central Florida, the only name you need to know for a great used car is Jenkins. We take in trades from all over the state, so we can offer you access to over 1,500 quality pre-owned cars and trucks at every Jenkins location. Every one is fully inspected and reconditioned to our highest standards. Plus, we've got finance plans for everyone. Looking to sell? You'll get more at Jenkins. Get paid on the spot, even if you buy somewhere else. So if you're buying or selling a pre-owned vehicle, the only name to know is the Jenkins Auto Group. Steve Shell is no stranger to Mini Coopers. In fact, his latest purchase is his 10th. In this edition of our Love My Ride segment, Steve tells us all about his turbocharged hot rod. We're looking at a 21 Mini Cooper JCW GP3. And the three stands for the third generation that Mini has put this model out. We went down to Mini of Tampa to order a, a 24 Countryman for my wife. And this was sitting on the showroom, the gentleman that had traded it in because he, he couldn't uh, ship it off to Saudi Arabia. It was too expensive. And at first, I really wasn't crazy about them, but the more I looked at them, I always wanted a, a fast car. So this fit the bill. This is going to be the only Mini I own that I will not touch because it keeps the value. But it's 103 horsepower at the flywheel, 350-something foot pounds of torque and the torque really puts you back in your seat. I would give a, a V8 a run for its money. Not very far but I mean off the line and and that I, I think I'd give them a run and in the twisties I know I would tear him up. It's, I mean I haven't been disappointed yet with it. It's all aerodynamic design. Um, trust me when you get on it it lets you know it's there. It's no lag. 
I'm an ex-road racer by heart. I raced for almost 14 years and finally had to retire from it because of cost. And the minis were filling my bill. I don't have to do anything to it. Normally we re replace the rear sway bar to get a little bit uh, oversteer or more neutral steer from the front wheel drive. I don't think I need to do that right now. A lot of people are really surprised when they see me get out of this car. You fit in that car? And I said, yep. <laughs> I wish I had this back in Virginia where we have a lot of twisty roads who really go out and enjoy it. The straight roads down here, they're okay, but I really like twisty roads. And that's the reason for the plate on, the, on my car. I, I probably have spooked a few people in the roundabouts here. I'm, I'm not gonna overload my hummingbird, but uh, I'm sure there's been people that have uh, saying, what's that crazy guy doing? The Village has grown has been inviting people to explore their innovative hydroponic greenhouses by taking a Village's Grown Farm Tour. And while on site, you can also visit their unique mobile market to purchase fresh produce as well. I first was introduced to the Airstream at Finney, when it was at the Finney Grill area, and also at Loblolly and Longleaf. So I'm not a stranger to the, uh, to the, to the van or to the Airstream, but it's a great idea. And uh, uh, I think there are folks probably haven't discovered the store at Sawgrass, which I'd highly recommend because it's really nice. So it's a great opportunity to get introduced to the product, try some and see what you think. It's incredible because you don't, I mean, I didn't expect to find the produce that they have and they perform. Now going through the tour, it's even more impressive because uh, it's like nothing else I've ever seen. And I grew up in, in Wisconsin in the farming area, so I'm familiar with agriculture, but this is not agriculture. Having gone up and down 44 and, and Morris, past it and I've always wondered what it's like so I was really uh, interested in seeing it inside and the uh, I'm impressed by the science I'm impressed by how meticulous they are and how they produce the product and how they package it and distribute it and uh, I think it's only gonna get bigger and I'm just hoping that other folks when they go to the drugs or the, uh, the grocery store that they discover it because it's it's fabulous I use the microgreens all the time this is another example of what's happening in the village area and being a resident here, I really appreciate the fact that there's lots of things going on, including some really high science um, items when it comes to growing food, of course the entertainment's there and, and all the other things. So uh, I'm convinced, I'm a believer, and uh, I have two sisters now that live down here as well, so we, we're, we're almost starting a compound here at the villages. I've been a very positive response. So. When they go in, they put their ticket, they get their little goodie bag, so when they're done with that, they can come in here and they can shop around and go ahead and add in a few more items, so that way they can have a wonderful, wholesome meal when they get home. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays, our tour hours are from 4 until, I believe our last one is at 6.15, so we are open to the public during those days, so they can come in. Tuesdays and Wednesdays during the tour times and go ahead and purchase whatever they would like to have for their dinners. So we have our microgreens, we have our heirloom tomatoes, we have our beefsteak tomatoes, we have our variety of lettuces. We just encourage people to come on in and see what our uh, facility, how we operate, so they get that connection to uh, their food. You can also find Village's Grown products at local Publix and Winn-Dixie locations, and it's also accessible through Kroger Delivery. To schedule a farm tour, visit thevillagesentertainment.com and seek out the Village's Grown Farm Tours. You can work on your mind, body, and soul during standing yoga. Kathleen O'Neill has been an instructor since 1979, and she has been leading the yoga class at Bacall Recreation for the last seven years. In her class, there are no mats or props. Kathleen describes it as gentle yoga for people who want to learn poses. She wants students to learn different breathing exercises as the more the cells are oxygenated, the more functions of internal organs work at their optimal level. The standing yoga class is held at 5 p.m. Kathleen says it will help you sleep better, slow down, and reflect on the day. If you're looking for an outdoor activity to try, how about horseshoes? Horseshoes can be found around the villages at 55 locations, totaling 106 pits in all. 
The sport is centered around concentration and hand-eye coordination. You can play solo or in groups for competitive play or fun. The Village's Horseshoes Club is open to new members. You can test your aim, skills, and ability as the club competes in tournaments around the community. Check the weekly recreation and parks guide to find the nearest horseshoe pits. A list can also be found at villageshc.mysite.com. We'll be back with more news from Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. When you visit Cody's, you're walking into a great bar with fantastic drink options, including two-for-one happy hour and a very cool place to eat with great food and phenomenal service. I love the BOGO fajitas every Wednesday, and we love coming here and feel like family. Just like family, with loads of smiles for you at Cody's Original Roadhouse in Brownwood and Lake Sumter Landing. This hurricane preparedness tip from VNN and WVLG is brought to you by The Villages Insurance. Hi, this is WVLG Senior Forecaster Dave Toll. Supplies are exceptionally important during hurricane season, and what types should you have? At least three days supply of bottled water, or a minimum of one gallon per person per day. At least a three day supply of non-perishable, easy to prepare food, manual can opener, flashlights and extra batteries, multi-purpose tools such as a Swiss Army knife, cell phones with chargers and car charger adapters, battery powered or hand crank radio and extra batteries, family and emergency contact information, extra cash, a map of the area in case GPS services are down. Keep listening for more information, including pets, tips, supplies, detailed information to keep on hand during the hurricane season. Presented by the Villages Insurance, and thank you for listening to your Villages soundtrack, WVLG. Another veteran organization is seeking the community's help. Villages for Veterans is looking for gift baskets to be put together and donated for its upcoming Orchid Gala. The ninth annual gala will include the baskets in a silent auction, which will help raise money for the nonprofit that supports severely injured veterans by providing tools to have an independent lifestyle. If you would like to donate, call Marie Bogdanoff at 516-220-5068. Shuffleboard is a game in which players use cues to push weighted discs, sending them down a narrow court with the purpose of having them come to a rest within a marked scoring area, and it's a very popular activity here in the Villages. A Wednesday morning league has formed at Franklin Recreation. Join a beginner level team of 12 with your friends and or neighbors. Play against other local teams. It's a little bit of exercise, a little bit of competition, a little bit of social interaction, and a whole lot of fun. The next gathering is Wednesday, September 6th at 10 a.m. at Franklin Recreation. To register, send your contact information to the email address on the screen. It's time now for a brief commercial break. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. Going on now at Cart World Golf Cars, the summer clearance. All new 2023 club cars and Garrias must go. Buy now and save big. Model year and discounts up to $1,250. Whether you're in the market for a two, four, or six seater with gas, electric, or lithium power, Cart World has it. There's never been a better time to buy. Hurry, don't miss out. When these cars are gone, so are these prices. When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. And air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. 
So call for a free inspection today. Clap your hands and stop your feet. Time now for the Village's Entertainment Beat. I'm Natalie, here with your Entertainment Beat. Did you know that there's entertainment every single day of the week in the Villages? The Villages Entertainment has 365 days of entertainment, and you can find some of that entertainment at our nightly entertainment venues. From high energy pop to country, there's a band for everyone each night from 5 to 9, whether you're at Spanish Springs Town Square, Lake Sumter Landing Market Square, or Brownwood Paddock Square. And Sawgrass Grove has entertainment every day of the week, from Boozy Bingo every Monday from 6 to 8, Blazing Pianos every Tuesday from 6 to 9, and bands playing every other night of the week at varying times and even on Saturday afternoons. Every month, you can come out to Market Night at the Three Squares on selected nights on the first and third weeks of the month. Be sure to check out your nightly entertainment calendar for more information. And if you don't have your calendar for September yet, be sure to visit the Village's Entertainment Tent at Market Night next week, Tuesday at Spanish Springs, Wednesday at Lake Sumter Landing, and Thursday at Brownwood, where we'll be handing them out. You can also locate our calendars online at thevillagesentertainment.com under free entertainment. And all new calendars are released on the fourth Sunday of each month in your daily sun and online. There's also entertainment seven days a week at Lazy Max Taco Shack. Listen to free music at Blazing Pianos on Saturdays, the Sunday Sunset Concert Series, or the Monday Residency. Play bingo on Tuesdays and Fridays. Laugh out loud on Wednesdays at the Comedy Show, or test your trivia skills on Thursdays. If you're looking for more information on these events, be sure to check us out online at thevillagesentertainment.com. Come talk to us out of box office, or call us over the phone. This Labor Day, our box offices will be closed, with the exception of the box office at Old Mill Playhouse, which will be open at 10 a.m. That's your entertainment beat today, and I'll see you next time. Live musical entertainment is available here every day of the year. These are the bands ready to perform for you Saturday night. That is all the news we have for you now. Pick up a copy of Saturday's Daily Sun and keep enjoying the village's lifestyle.
The Sumter County Sheriff's Office has created a free mobile app to give our citizens quick and easy access to all critical information needed to help keep the community safe. To download the app for free, search Sumter County Sheriff's Office on Google Play or the App Store. With our app, you can submit a tip, receive alerts on criminal activity in your area, search for sex offenders, inmates, the most wanted list, and much more. Together, we can keep Sumter County a great place to live, work, and play. The link between falling and hearing loss is, is well documented. Believe it or not, people with uh, hearing loss are three times more likely uh, to have a severe fall. Um, and we all know what happens uh, with a severe fall. You wind up hospitalized in a lot of cases, you break your hip. A lot of people die within 12 months uh, of that break, unfortunately. So the great news is, is, is just treating your hearing loss uh, significantly reduces your fall risk.